The Nike Hyper Adapts 1.0 just restocked in 11 colorways, and you can find a full-size run in most colorways. Hey yo, what's good at your bar sneakers? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Randy and I cover fashion content from streetwear to designer. So make sure to subscribe and also make sure to hit the bell button next to it so you guys don't miss out on any future videos. And while you're down there, you might as well just give the video a thumbs up. So anyways, today we're gonna get into some news. And when I'm done giving you guys the news, I want you guys to go down in the comments and leave your feedback and let me know if you guys like this news or if you guys like the regular content that I normally post. So to kick off the news, the Off-White Converse collab is dropping tomorrow. They are dropping some Chuck Taylors and there is still some raffles that are open so you can join them today. I will leave a link to that down below and also in that link you will find all the stores dropping the sneaker as well And 130 for a pair of off-white sneakers is actually fairly low So you guys are getting a good deal on here and also if you want to resell I think it'd be a good time I'm personally not a big fan of Chuck Taylor's and especially not this collab because it looks really ugly It's just a weird shoe So I won't be going for it and on top of that there will be some difficulty on obtaining the shoe Next up we do have some more news on a collaboration except this one's between Nike and Travis Scott They did team up to make a pair of Jordan 4's which they're calling the Cactus Jacks You can see the uppers mostly made of a light blue material and then and the inner lining is red and you have black laces with some speckles on the plastic tabs. You can find those speckles on the heel of the sneaker as well. But one thing that's different on this pair of sneakers compared to the rest of the Jordan 4s is that on the left sneaker, instead of putting the Jumpman logo, they put Cactus Jack on there. And then as far as the midsole goes, you do have just a black and white midsole. You can expect the sneaker to drop on June 23rd for the price of $250, but no more than that. Last but not least, we do have a huge restock that just happened not too long ago. The Nike Hyper Adapts 1.0 just restocked in 11 colorways, and you can find a full size run in most colorways. It amazes me that they had a restock this big on this sneaker because it's not something you would expect. This sneaker was one of the most anticipated sneakers of 2016 and now they have a huge restock on it and you can pretty much get it as if it was a general release. It sucks for the people that paid resale on the sneaker. However, now people that want to get this sneaker for retail have the chance to do so and they don't have to pay ridiculous prices for it other than its price tag. But you don't have to pay no more than that. And in the end, I think after taxes, I paid around $760. So you can't expect that debt in your bank account. I will be leaving a link below in the description so you guys can cop your pair. To check out my latest news, make sure to click on the link right here. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this news, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you guys don't miss out on any future videos. By the way, are you guys going to be copying or passing up on the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0? Let me know down in the comments below. Today's fan of the day, just go to Wave God NYC Wave God. If you want to be fan of the day, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, turn your post notifications on, and leave a positive comment down below. Anyways, guys, until next time, make sure you guys keep grinding. It's your boy Sneaker signing out. Thank you.